So the secret is that when one engages in offenseless kirtan, 
The result is chaitol darpana margin of the mirror of the heart becomes cleansed. По процессе такого безоскорбительного воспевания святых имен очищается зеркало сознания. It may take some time. Это может занять какое-то время это процесс. If someone's contamination is very slight, then the 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 darkness of the chitta is just like dust on a mirror. Если загрязнение и уровень загрязнения слабый у человека, то это загрязнение подобно пыли на зеркале. То пыль очень легко протереть. То есть недолгим воспеванием можно убрать эту пыль, и тогда в зеркале чита будет отражаться прекрасный облик Шри Кришны. Для того, кто более обусловленный, их невежество более сгущенное, такое концентрированное. То это как будто много грязи намяпано на зеркале. С какой тряпочкой грязь и кучу такой высокшую уже не протрешь. Нужно будет ведерко воды и чем-то щеткой такой жесткой потереть. Через какое-то время вот частично зеркало очистится и в этой части Some persons conditioning their senses, their history of sinful activities is so great that it's not like dust and not like mud, but it's like being in a wooden crate. Но у кого-то уровень загрязнения очень сильный, там уже такие серьезные грехи и так далее, что это уже как будто вот зеркало поместили в деревянный контейнер, коробку закрыли. И перышками уже эту пыль не протрешь, потому что до зеркала не доберешься. И щетка уже не поможет. Нужен такой, чтобы срубить эту деревянную коробку. But then, in Kali Yuga, в Kali Yuga, especially now, most of the living beings, the covering of that mirror is not even like wood. It is like vajra, a very hard type of stone. То есть сейчас у большинства людей вот это зеркало читы уже спрятано не в деревянный контейнер, а в каменную такую гранитную. За гранитной плитой стоит уже это зеркало. If you take an axe to it, you will break your axe. Да, сломайте топор свой, пытаясь обрубить. So that vajra, that very hard stone, can only be removed by. Даже детонатор вам. Dynamite. Зачем придется работать динамитом, чтобы добраться до этой читы? And that is why C.C. Gornitai descended into this world and gave us the dynamite. Six pandangas. Two gongs. Hundred people screaming. So the Hari, very loud Hari Nam Sankirtan is the dynamite to remove the bajra, the hard stone, which is covering the mirror of the heart. So the swachatva, the clarity of the chit becomes exposed, and then you can catch the reflection of the abas of the soul of Sri Krishna. That is called the spurti. So that is spur, actual spur. The mind cannot imagine Krishna. It has to be a realization, awakening in the purified chitta by the power of Nam Sankirtan. Это настоящая спада. То, что вы себе что-то представляет, воображает, там нет. Это истинное отражение откровения, которое происходит, отражается в чистой чите. Of this silent type of meditation. What do you do when you sit with your people? You just sit. Meditation, without any meditation, without any. You don't have to sit with your people. You don't have to sit with your people. You don't have to sit with your people. <laughs> but not only that, Sri Jiva Goswami explained that the samadhi that you attain 
by Kirtan is more powerful than the Samadhi that the great sages in Satyu achieved by Don't think that Haridam Sankirtan is the Yuga Dharma in Kali Yuga because uh, the useless jivas of this age uh, are not qualified to do other things. Actually it's true. Uh, it is the Yuga Dharma of the age because the useless jivas are not qualified to do other things. But that's not only why. Jivas in Kali Yuga, they have no choice. This is the only way. Hare Nam, Hare Nam, Hare Nam, But the Jivas in the previous Yugas, they have a choice. And if in Satya Yuga they would choose Hare Nam Sankirtan, this would be a better choice than the Yuga Dharma of that day. It produces better results. So Prahlad Maharaj was in Satya Yuga. And he is a Mahajan, so he knows the secrets of Nam Tatra. He was just doing loud Sankirtan with all the little demons. <laughs> Yeah, while all the wishes like Yajna Valka and others were doing silent meditation because the, those wishes they are not included among the twelve Mahajans who know Nam Tattva. So Haridam Sankirtan is the best Anglo Bhakti in every age. It's just that in Kali Yuga we are so full and we have no other choice. Jiva Goswami Park raises the question, why is it that if Sankirtan is the best Dharma, even in the Satya Yuga, then why did the Rishis of that age practice it? And the answer is this. The definition of kirtan is ostaspandana matrena kirtanam bhavati. You just move your lips and make the sound. It's that simple. So, the, those with vast intelligence in the Sati Yuga, if you told them this, it can't be that simple. <laughs> they're great Gyanis, great intellectuals. They want something that's a little bit demanding for them. said that Kirtan is so simple, it's so easy that the wishes of the Satyug could not develop faith in it. <laughs> it is the Akshara Bias, just repetition of the syllables. In the spirit of surrender. So, Sila Vishnathabhi Thakur in his Raghavatma Chandrika, he comments, Krishna Svaram Janam Chasya Prastam Nijasami Hitam. The first aspect of Raghunuga Bhakti is to remember Krishna along with his special associates in whose footsteps you want to follow. Yes, the verse is Rupa Goswami. And we're going to tell you, Vishnu Chak 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 He's saying, even though the mm, main, the Mukya Anga, the main limb of Raghunuga Bhakti is Smara. 
But you should know that this manam is kirtan adhin. Kirtan adhin. That means completely subordinate to, completely manifested by uh, the chanting of the holy name. It is not independent. So, we went from the island of Kirtan, first Kirtan, and then Svara. So, why is that island called the Madhya Dweep? <laughs> so, oh, in the Satyug, millions of years ago, the uh, seven sages who are the mind-born sons of Brahma, Perhaps you've seen a, a constellation of stars in the sky called the Saptarishis. So, those are the, what is it called in Western astrology? <laughs> The big bear, <laughs> Ursa Major. So <laughs> Ursa Major, that's the seven is up to Rishis. So those are the planets of those, the seven sages or the mind born sons of Brahma. So those are different Rishis in different Kalpas. In this Kalpa, it is uh, Kashyapa, Vishishta, Vishwamitra, Gautam, Bharadwaj, Jamadagni, and one more. Google it with Atri Rishi. Okay, so these are the seven sages in this Kalpa. So one day they were discussing with each other. Oh. In a covered way in the scriptures, it is mentioned that see Krishna appears in a golden form in Navadvipta. And that form of Krishna is the most uh, munificent uh, manifestation or aspect of the Paratattva. So when Brahma heard his sons talking about Gora, and then he blessed them. He said, if you have interest to know about the glories of Gora, then I am blessing you. Go down to Navadim Dham and do Gora Bhajan there. Because the dharma of Navadvip is very merciful. If you get the mercy of Navadvip dharma, what will be the result? You will get sadhu sangha. So it may be that sometimes you have sadhu sangha. But how much? If you want more Sadhu Sangha in your life, very easily to always be in the association of very high class pure devotees, then this will come by the mercy of the Dham. When a person visits a holy dham, then by the mercy of that dham, they get the association of sadhus. By the mercy of the sadhus, one gets the taste in hearing Harikatha. And gradually, Oman's non apparats fade, and one begins to chant purely and become absorbed in the leelas of that kata.
So Brahmaji blessed his sons to come and do bhajani. So they came here in the Satya Yuga and they were where we were today. And the Rishi sat down. And they were discussing Gora Katha with each other. One of them said, This place is inconceivable abode. Gora manifests his Lila here in two forms, Prakat and Aprakat. Only once in the day of Brahma, the Lila is Prakat and manifests to the eyes of the people. But at all times, for those whose consciousness is purified, Yadya Priyase Lila Kari Gora Rai Kon Gon Bhagavani Dek Pari Pai even today, every day, the pastimes of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu are going on in Kamadhyam, and those who are fortunate have the eyes to see it. Another one of the sages said, The leader of God Chandra is astonishing and inconceivable because he is completely independent. His mercy has no rules or regulations. His mercy is blind, it just goes everywhere, indiscriminately to everyone. Another Rishi, he said, Oh, the pastimes of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu are most wonderful. And when he is 24 years old, he leaves Navadip Dham and goes to Jagannath Puri, immersing everyone in the ocean of separation. So in this way, the whole became absorbed in uh, listening to So as they became absorbed in Gorakata, they were overwhelmed and began to chant. And now they chanting the name of Mahaprabhu. After a very short time, then they saw Mahaprabhu appear before them. Very soon, they saw Mahaprabhu. Very beautifully decorated with pearls and flowers and jewels. And dancing most gracefully. So Goranga told them, I am very pleased with you. And I am blessing you that when I appear, you can all appear in my pastimes and participate in my pastimes. But there is one condition. My pastimes are very confidential. So for now, you should keep them hidden and don't uh, reveal them to the world. So even though there are many sages and rishis throughout the ages, but the uh, knowledge of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and his dham, swayed with dham, Vedanta stay Santa Shiti Bhairanachara Katipaya in the Brahma said, very, very few, few uh, enlightened persons on this earth know the truth about Navadvita. Though the glories of Mahaprabhu and Navadip Dhamma are described throughout the Vedas, but Maya was covering the eyes of everyone, only when this Kali Yuga came and after Mahaprabhu did his Lila, then Prauda Maya began to uh, allow others to see into the mystery of Gora Tattva. So 
Many people can believe Narayan, Lord Narayan is Bhagavan. But who can understand Gaur Narayan is the origin of that Narayan? But it's a fact. That's because many people don't believe it. It doesn't make it not true. It just means they cover. Это не значит, просто из-за того, что большинство людей не верят в этот факт, не значит, что это неправда, просто эти люди покрыты иллюзией. Сарва Бомба Тачарья, когда его брат Гопина Тачарья сказал ему, Читани Махапу из Кришна, до Супрем Пасаяти в Горе, Сарва Бомба Тачарья сказал, Ну, иди, брат Гопина Тачарья, Шурин Сарва Бомба Тачарья сказал ему, Читани Махапу будет сам Верховный Господь, Сарва Бомба Тачарья Gopinath Acharya said, yes, I am following the scriptures. Gopinath Acharya said, yes, I am following the scriptures. Krishna Vanam, Tusha, Krishna Musambu Pranga, Sapashadam, Yagi, Sankirtana, Praya, Janti, Svaita. And in the Mahabharata, Suvarna Varna, Nima, Govaranga, Stantana, Kadi, Sanyasi, Kritsamat, Sato, Shanti, Nista, Prayana. But how much Pramana do you want? He's a golden and he's decorated in Gopi Chandan and then he will, and he will take Sanyas. Сколько промана тебе требуется? Смотри, он золотой, он умощен гопичанданой. Сейчас ты предсказываешь, что он примет саньясу. Какие тебе еще доказательства нужны? Но Сарва Бомба Батачарий слушать не хотел. Гопина Батачарий сказал, «О, потому что ты не достигаешь милости от Господа». Гопина Батачарий сказал, «Ты не веришь, потому что ты не обрел милость, каплю милости Господа еще». Сарва Бомба Батачарий говорит, «Давай». What is the proof that you have attained the mercy of the Lord? Давай без оскорблений. Чем ты докажешь, что ты обрел милость Господа? Рабинам Джарасе, ата пите дева панам кутям твоя, прашад лейшану гахит эйдахи, динат татвам параман махинно, начанья эйко пичаран вичинва. He quoted from the Brahma Stuti, where the Lord Brahma said, Oh my Lord, Someone can only know your tattwa, understand you in truth, when they receive a slight trace of your mercy. Sarvabhaucharya was a Advaita Vani, Maya Vani Shankarite. He didn't even believe that the Supreme Truth is a person. Kopinath Acharya said, see, he is the Brahman from the Shastra that says that you have not received even a slight trace of mercy. Nantyanyu and Gopi Charan Pichima said, Lord Brahma said, even if one studies The Vedas for thousands of years. Brahma you cannot Gita. understand the Bhagavad Tantra without a slight trace of the Lord's mercy. So if all of you, you believe Krishna is Bhagavad, it means some, some mercy has come, something. First installment. <laughs> о высшей истине. И вот сам факт, что вы верите, что Кришна Верховный Господь, это доказательство того, что уже вы получили какую-то порцию Его милости. So, and if you understand that that Krishna is actually Satchinandan Gauri, this is second installment. А если вы признаете, что этот Кришна это и есть, Satchinandan Gauri Хари, это значит, что вы получили еще вторую порцию милости. Causes must only come from our Guru Varga. Без причины милости, которая не сходит по нашей Гуру Варге. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told the seven sages, I will bless you, but the condition is you should be silent because my glories will be revealed at the appropriate time. And then Gauranga Mahaprabhu disappeared. So the seven rishis, they made their bhajan kutiyas in Madhya Dvipa. И семь мудрецов построили свои пади на кутиры в Мадхидвиме. So there are seven hills in Madhidvi, seven pillars, upon which each rishi was doing his bhajan, and the hills are arranged in the exact formation as the Sapta rishis, the Orsha major in the sky. И там в Мадхидвиме семь тил, семь холмов, и на каждом было расположено пади на кутир одного из риши, и они соответствуют полностью вот это географическому. 
конфигурации? Геометрические вот эти холмы стоят по отношению друг к другу, как звезды в этом большой медведице. And because, and because Sri Goranga Mahabhu manifested, revealed himself to the Sapta Rishis at exactly midday, therefore it's called Madhya Dweep, means midday Dweep. Этот остров называется Мадья это полдень, так как Махапрабху явил себя этим мудрецам ровно в полдень, поэтому остров называется Мадья Двипа. So, on the way to Hamsabahan, по пути к Hamsabahan, if you just look to your right, you could see a big lake and some fields beyond that. There were some devotees who were erecting a tent at the time. The program party will stay there after in next week. Кто-то случайно посмотрел вправо в тот момент и увидел бы озеро и за ним такую долину и там была конструкция постройка пандалов, потому что там будет проходить фестиваль исконной жизни под ледяной водой. But the drip is a naimisharanya. И вот то место внутри мадья двипа называется наимисаранья. Many ancient tutors have their ultimate manifestation in madya drip. Very nearby is Pushkar and also Kurukshetra. Несколько очень важных древних тех святых мест они расположены изначальные формы расположены в мадья двипе. Там Пушкар находится рядом. И Курукшетра. Last year we went to Kurukshetra. Do you remember? В том году мы были на Курукшетре. So what is the glory of Naimi Sharanya? В чем заключается слава Naimi Sharanya? Perhaps you know that Indra was very afraid of fighting with Vritrasura. Вы наверное знаете, что Махатма Vritra, as we like to call him. Индра очень боялся сражения схватки с Vritrasura или как мы предпочитаем называть его Махатма Vritra. So he prayed to Lord Narayan. Он молился Господу Нарайне. And Lord Narayan told him. You can kill him if you make a Vajra weapon, a thunderbolt weapon, but it can only be made with the bones of the Dichi Muni. So then Indra was so selfish, so attached to being the king of heaven, that he approached a great rishi. You see, the kings are supposed to give charity to the brahmanas. The brahmanas don't give charity to the kings. So Lord Narayan told me to do this to illustrate to the world how attached you become the king of heaven, but you become so attached, intoxicated with material life. Нарайна нарочно спровоцировал Индру на этот поступок, поступок, чтобы показать всему миру, насколько вот эта сильная привязанность, насколько она создает побуждение рассудка, что Индр настолько был привязан к своему трону, к своему положению, что он бесстыжно пошел к мудрецу просить у него его кости. The being king, he was so shamelessly going beg charity from a Brahmin, and not just any charity. Can you just just give me your skeleton? Насколько надо спорно себя вести и без стыжа, чтобы пойти к Брамману не просто просить у него дар подаяния, а попросить его скелет, чтобы он чтобы он скелет тебе отдал. Because the the power of the his tapasya was in his bones, and he Indra had to make this weapon from the spine of the Dichi Muni. И Индре нужно было спастись вашу из позвоночника на Дичи Муни, потому что вся мистическая сила. So the Dichi Muni said, "Well, I'd like to help you, but I had a desire to take bath in all the holy places." И Индра пришел к Дичи Муни. It's not fulfilled. Дайте мне, пожалуйста, свои мощи. На Дичи Муни сказал, "Но я рад был бы тебе помочь, но все это же я собирался в этой жизни омыться во всех святых водоемах, и это желание еще не исполнено." I want you to do that once before I die. Перед смертью я хотел посетить. Indra said, "No problem. Leave it to me." And by his mystic powers, then Indra collected water from all the holy tears and put it in one place. He said, "Then take a bath here, and then we're ready to go." So then, the Dichi Rishi took bath, and then, by the power of his mystic yoga, he had Swachanda Victor City, the city mystic power, to give up his life at will, and he gave up that book. The Dichi Rishi took bath, and then, by the power of his mystic yoga, he had Swachanda Victor City, the city mystic power, to give up his life at will, and he gave up that book. 
Свачанта Бриджи, то есть уход из тела по желанию. И он оставил тело. So then in the he made the sun god water. But that place where Indra collected all the water of the holy churches, that is Naimishana. И Индра соорудил себе вальду из позвоночника на дичи муни, но то место, в котором он собрал все святые водоемы, это и есть вот это место на Имишаране. It is said that Lord Narayan killed a demon there also. So fast he did it in a mesh, that means a blink of an eye. So it's also called the Naimi Sharanya. Naimi Sharanya. Aranya means forest. Aranya это лес. Naimi. The Aranya of the Nimesh. Nimesh. Nimesh это моргание глаза. Считается, что Господь Нарайна убил демона так быстро, что глазом никто не успел моргнуть. То есть вот от этого, что Nimesh это моргание глаза. Also in Shastri they say that when the Kali Yuga was approaching, many sages and rishis approached Lord Brahma and said, now this difficult age of Kali is coming, please give us a place where, which will not be affected by the influence of Kali Yuga, where we can perform our spiritual practices. Просьба, они сказали, выделено. Но сейчас наступит очень тяжелое время. Выделено место, где мы можем спокойно совершать свою духовную практику. So then Brahmaji, in his meditation, from his mind, he produced a wheel. И из своего ума Брама создал колесо. And he said it's spinning. Колесо, и оно полетело, вращаясь. He said where this wheel stops, that place will be unaffected. Он сказал, там где-то... Идите за этим колесом, там, где оно остановится, это будет безопасным местом для вас. Там вы сможете жить и совершать садхану. So the rim of a wheel is called Naimi. The rim? Край, вот это сам круг. Обод. 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 Колеса. Обод называется Немеш. It's called Naimi. Ah, Naimi. So the place where the Naimi fell, that is called Naimi Sharanya. So at the beginning of the Kali Yuga, 88,000 rishis gathered there. И 88 тысяч мудрецов собрались там перед началом Кали Йоги. To hear the Puranas from the direct disciple of Shri Vyasadev, with whom he has entrusted. The responsibility of passing on all the Puranas. That is Loma Harshan Sut. Any пришли туда слушать Пураны из уст ученика Шилья Садева Рома Харшана Суты. But when Balaram was on Kirti Yatra, he came there and all the sages stood up to respect him. But Loma Harshan Sut was saying, "I am sitting on the dais as I am giving class." I don't need to stand up. To prevent the war, the Kurukshetra Balaram совершал паломничество по всем тиркам. И он пришел к тому месту. Все встали поприветствовать его, кроме самого Ромахарши Насуды, который считал, что это ниже его статуса вставать все сосаны, когда кто-то там пришел. И он не встал поприветствовать Баларама. Они то вайштала и буди олью сила бактино такусе. If this thought will enter my mind, I am a вайштала. Then everything will be ruined. Бактина так говорит, если я возомню себе, если в голову придет такая мысль, что я вошла, во мне придет конец. But this the Asha Vida Vidushi way. My heart will become contaminated by the desire for honor from others. Сердце тут же свернется из-за желания получать почести от других. Ой, Бодира, я говорю, я могу тебя. Я отправлюсь в ад. Making many offenses. Совершив много оскорблений. So, Lord Ashan Sutta. Unfortunately, he never heard this song of Shri Lanka. Vaishnavas never consider themselves to be authority. They think that whatever service, whatever preaching, whatever I am doing, this is only the vibhav, it is the splendor, the glorification of my Guru Parampara. I, it is not my personal power or authority. In the beginning of the Bhagavatam, when the sages asked Sutta Goswami about the Absolute Truth, what did he say? Vedanti tattam paravidas tattam yadyanavatvaya. He never said, I know. He said, those who know, they say that it is Brahman Paramatma. Вначале Шимат Бхагатам описывается, когда мудрецы спрашивали Сутта Госвами объяснить ему абсолютную истину, он не сказал, я считаю, что это так и так. Он сказал, те, кто знают, говорят. 
So Lo Maharsha Sutta, he did not get up to respect Balaram, who is Akanda Guru Tattva. И таким образом Нарва Махаршан Сутра не встал уважить Баларама, который является Аканду Гуру Татвой. So this, Baram, И увидев такое поведение, Баларам подошел к нему. Сначала стебель от травы Куша. Him, и уколол его этой травинкой, и Рама Махаршан Сутра скончался тот же. Баларам всемогущий, он может убить вас стебельком травы. So then, All the rishis there say, "Hi, hi, alas, alas, we have taken a vow to hear the Puranas for a thousand years. But now the speaker, the authority on the Puranas is dead. What will we do?" Все риши очень сильно расстроились. Они сказали: "Мы мы мы выделили тысячелетия на то, чтобы сидеть тут и серьезно изучать Пураны. А сейчас у нас нет больше ораторов. Баран said, "Do you want me to bring him back to life?" Баран растерялся, сказал: "Вы хотите, чтобы я его оживил?" The sage said, "Oh no, Baram Prabhu. Whatever you do, it should be as you have done it. We don't want to change what you have done." Мешаться, то есть ты независим, ты принял такое решение, мы не хотим за тобой нуждать тебя менять твои решения. Please think for another solution. Лучше придумай другой вариант, как выйти из этой ситуации. So then Baram called the son of Lo Mahasin Sud. Тогда Баларам призвал сына Lo Mahasin Sud. And Baram just blessed him. И просто благословил мальчика. And by the blessing of Baram. All the Puranas and all the purports, the Tatpariya, the ultimate meaning of the Puranas, manifest in the heart of that boy. И тут же все Пураны, все Татпари, истинный смысл выше, и все комментарии проявили сердце и сознание этого мальчика. And Baram blessed him with the power. Because of this blessing, he became known as Ugrasha. Я на него надел особый шахти, благодаря которой он стал зваться Ugrashava. No, Ugra, Ugra means ferocious. Ugra это яростный. You have the form of Nishinga Dev who is very peaceful and sitting with us. Yes, for my version, there was a boy now with a very 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 old man. And then you have Ugra Nishinga. Right? And yes, Ugra Nishinga. So you have to start the name Ugra. So that boy became Ugra Shrava. Shrava means that his hearing, his potency, his capacity for hearing was ferocious. He wanted to hear Harikata. And what he heard, he could remember everything. So he was able to remember everything. So, because of the blessing of the Balram, he grew up to be the great Sutta Goswami. And when Shukadev Goswami spoke with the Bhagavatam to Parikshit Maharaj, that young Sutta Goswami was in the audience. And Sutta Goswami was standing in the audience слушал Шимад Бхагаватам из уст Шукадева Госвами. And he remembered everything. И Сута Госвами запомнил все. And then in Naini Sharanya, Сута Госвами spoke Шимад Бхагаватам to the sages, the eighty-eight thousand rishis, headed by Shona Karishi, as the antidote to the ills of Kali Yuga. И уже позже он пересказал Шимад Бхаг, услышанный Шимад Бхагаватам в этой аудитории, состоящей из восьмидесяти восьми тысяч подрецов, возглавляемых Шона Кариши, как как Прививка как лекарство от наступающей кали-юги. That version of Shiva Bhagavatam is the version that we have. Вот эта версия Shiva Bhagavatam, версия, которую дошла до наших дней, которую наследовали мы. Spoken by Sutta Goswami. Поведенная Sutta Goswami. So all these pastimes took place in Naini Sharanya. That Naini Sharanya is in Uttar Pradesh. Все эти лилы произошли в Наини Шаране, которая расположена в Уттар Прадеш. But Sutta Goswami is eternally present here in the Naini Sharanya of Nandi Deep, speaking the Gaur Bhagavat. Но Sutta Goswami также в другой форме вещи присутствует тут в Наини Шаране, в Нанди Дипе, рассказывает Гаур Катху. Also in Naini Sharanya. After Lord Ramachandra had defeated Rama and returned to Ayodhya. Также после того как Господь Ramachandra одержал победу над Раваной и вернулся с Ситой в Ayodhya. And after Lord Rama had banished Sita to the forest to the Ashram of Valmiki Rishi. И позже когда ему пришлось изгнать жену в селку в Ашрам Валмики Риши. Then Lord Ramachandra he wanted to do Ashwamedha Yagya and he did the Ashwamedha Yagya there in Ayodhya. И после того как он послал Ситу уже туда в Ашрам, он совершал Ашвамедха Ягью как раз именно там в Найми Шарайне. And it was through that Ягья that the, his 
He did not know who they were, but two beautiful young boys who were actually his own sons, Lava and Kush, came there. And later, uh, Sitadev came there, and there she was accepted into the lap of pretty Vidya. And later, So how glorious is Navadhi Dham that all these great deities are present here in their original Svarups? Now I want to speak a little more for my own purification, the glories of Srila Bhakti Nod Thakur, to whose Mahasamadhi and Bhajan Kuti we visited this morning. My Guru Dev, whenever he had the opportunity to glorify Srila Bhakti Nod Thakur, he used to say, when I speak about the glories of Srila Bhakti Nod Thakur, I feel the same joy as if I was speaking the glories of Rupa Goswami. That was his realization. When he was mm, quite young, his parents passed away and he was raised by his mater maternal grandparents. But after some time, they sent him to go and live with his paternal grandparents who lived in Chorti Mangalpur in Orissa. So, his grandfather there was named Raj Valav. Though he lived in his home, he used to wear saffron cloth. And he used to chant from very, very early in the, in the morning, practically the middle of the night, until noon, midday. And then cook some kitchi, take something, and serve his deities, study Shastra. The deities were who? Radha Mada. So he was a very uh, advanced, realized Vaishnava. And when the young Kedanath Data came there, and his grandfather saw his grandfather was weeping, he welcomed him very lovingly into the home. So when Kedanath Data was a boy, one day, his grandfather had just been chanting Japa for many hours and then he came out of his room and he put one cushion there and he sat down very peacefully in the cushion. And his grandfather told him, chant the holy name to Krishna. And I am blessing you that in the future you will become a very great and famous Vaishnava. And the moment he said that, then his soul left to the brother Andra. So this made a very profound impression on the young Kedanath So, he, as he became older, he studied the Quran, the Bible, but he was most captivated by Srimad Bhagavatam and then he discovered the Chaitanya Chaitanya. And after some time he received Diksha from uh, in uh, Vipina Bihari Goswami, one of the Goswamis of Bhagnapara, who was born in a direct family line coming from uh, Bangsi Bhagarananda Thakur, one of the associates of Mahaprabhu. So, 
Прабху? От Бамши So, I want to clear one point. Sometimes, we, because we come to this devotional line and we see the Prabhupada with Srila Bhaktisna Sutthakur and Srila Bhaktisna Sutthakur and Srila and then Srila Bhaktisna Sutthakur and Srila Jagannath Sutthakur and many persons assume that it's a Diksha line. And then sometimes some devotees from the DNA Prampras, family Prampras, I have not seen anywhere in Chastra DNA Prampra. <laughs> but anyway, they say, oh, you have no Guru Prampra because Srila uh, Bhaktinota was not initiated by Jagannathas Babaji or Srila Gokshodas Babaji was, was not initiated by Srila Bhaktinota Kaur. But these personalities, the DNK Prampra, these biological lines, they start говорить такие вещи, как у нас не настоящая парампара, потому что у Шива Максима Такура не было дикшая Джаганата Дасбабаджи, и у Шива Куркишо Дасбабаджи Махараджа не было дикшая Бхактина Такура. And because they only know about Panchartic Diksha, which is under the anger of Archan, they only understand Archan, and that is really the characteristic of a Kanista Adhikari. Ачья ева харае пуджа я шрее те на чаттан бхакти шу чаттан шу са бхакта пракрити пракрита смитаха. The prakrita bhakta, the materialistic devotee, only understands archa, and so they can only conceive of a prampara which is based on the principles of archa. Итак, как понятно, лишь инициация для них это что-то в рамках пачаратрик. Пачаратрика инициации, которая сама находится в категории Арчаны, а сама Арчана по факту это то, что понимает Каништа. Каништа преданный не понимает ничего, кроме Арчаны. And, and say, oh, И когда мы пытаемся донести до них, что наша Гуру Парампара – цепь ученической преемственности, это Бхагават Гуру Парампара. Они говорят, что это вообще такое Бхагават Гуру Парампара? Это очень просто. Парампара, состоящая из Бхагават Гуру. Дживга Свами Татпа Сандарба, он говорит, «Атанаква мантра гурун, гурун Бхагават Атадам». First I give pranam to the Guru who gave me mantra, and then I give pranam to the Guru who gave me the message of the Bhagavad. So there's a mantra Guru, Diksha Guru, Panchakri Guru, and Bhagavad Guru. So this is explained very explicitly in the Srimad Bhagavatam. Это четко объясняется Шимат Бхагаватам. Шлабьясадеви says that this Шимат Бхагаватам is the mature, ripe, juicy fruit of the Vedas. And it is the Galita Palam, it has completely become liquefied. So because it's liquefied, you don't have to chew it, it just flows down. Like a smoothie. Like a mango smoothie. And so this verse is speaking about when Ras is in the heart of a pure Vaishnava and they tell speak the Bhagavad, then this Ras flows down to the qualified hearer. And by hearing, just simply by hearing, touching Man Supatan Vichana, Paro Bhaktya Bimuchana, one attains Krishna Praya. So, 
In the commentary to this verse, Nita Bhakarupa Dhrua Garitam Pala, it's quoted in Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, in that Tita Shiva Vishnu Tantakwa explains. Oh, this verse is describing the Guru Parampara. And how the Ras was flowing from Narak to Vyas, from Vyas to Sukadev, from Sukadev to Sutta Goswami and Sutta Goswami to Pariksit Maharaj. So now he doesn't mention what type of parampara it is. He doesn't mention. But, but the question is this: Did Vyasadev give diksha to Shukadev Goswami? Did Shukadev Goswami give diksha to Prakshit Maharaj? Did Prakshit Maharaj give diksha to Sutta Goswami? Then what kind of parampara is Hira Vishnu Tantra Prabhupada? So the truth of the Bhagavad Guru Prabhupada had practically been completely lost. But if we consider it very carefully, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has no disciples. So in what sense can we be called the Gaudiya Sampada? If he doesn't know Bhagavad Prabhupada. So it happened once that the community from which Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur's honorable uh, Diksha Guru came from, they were of the opinion that there was a mystery behind Chaitanya Mahapu giving a uh, Govardhan Shila to Raghunath Das Goswami. And the reason is, they said that Mahapu gave a Govardhan Shila to him, not a Shalagram Shila, because Raghunath Das Goswami was from a Shudra family. So he wasn't qualified to worship the Shalagram Shila. So a big debate was uh, organized to discuss what are the merits, the virtues of Brahmanas and Vaishnavas to compare them. Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur didn't want to go and quarrel with his Guruja. But he said his son, Bhimo Prasad. And he went there and he gave such a lecture. You read this lecture, you will faint. It's been published called Brahman or Vaishnava. It's amazing, amazing. When you see the extent of the erudition of our Prabhupada Bhaktisthan Sotaku, then your jaw will hit the ground. And it was so powerful and so convincing when he finished the lecture, the crowd rioted because they all wanted to get his foot dust. <laughs> So to control the crowd, the police got a bucket of water and they dipped Srila Prabhupada's feet in the bucket of water and started sprinkling it all over the crowd. <laughs> But because of this controversy, when it, when it came up, one day, Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur, he wrote down his Bhagavad Guru Parampara 
on a piece of paper and he put it on the door of his bajan courtier and went back inside. He did not want to disrespect them, but he wanted the world to know that his substantial connection with Krishna was through the medium of the Bhagavad Guru Parampara. This is very important to know because there are, there are many devotees who are followers of Srila Bhakti Ratak, they accept him, but they don't accept Srila Bhakti Snatsu Thakur and they say, oh Srila Bhakti Snatsu Thakur has made up this parampara because he has no diksha. But the truth of the matter is, Srila Bhakti Nath Thakur wrote this parampara. That's the history of this Bhagavad Guru Prampara that we see the Krishna Hoi Kechadu Mukha Hoi Krishna Seva 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 Mukha Hoi Krishna was throughout his life interacting with the divine realm. At one point he decided, I want to go to Vrindavan to do bhajan. This was before he had discovered the Mayapur. So on the way there he stayed in one town where there's a very famous deity of Lord Shiva called Tarakishwar. So at, at night, in his dream, Tarakeshwar Mahadev appeared to him. He said, you can go to Vrindavan, but you must return and go to Navadvip. You have so much service to do for Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He had had the idea to have a bhajan coot here in a very sorry place on the bank of Jamuna in Braja. But now, on the order of Lord Shiva, he came back to Navadipa. We are very grateful to Mahadev for this. <laughs> because after that, then he uncovered all the lost holy places in Navadipa. So try to have a very strong Sambanga relationship with Srila Bhakti Nauta by fulfilling his Manu Krishna. Don't, don't think you are not related to him. He's your great great grandfather Guru. <laughs> so it said that the, grand, the grandfather is more merciful to the child than the father. So how more merciful would your great great grandfather Guru be? <laughs> Don't doubt it. Once Srila Bhakti Nautaku was doing bhajan and Swaru Dhamadaga Swami appeared to him. He told him, I want you to select the very essential verses of Srimad Bhagavatam and arrange them in a string which illustrates Sambandha Tattva, Abhidaya Tattva and Prayojan Tattva. Make a garland of the verses. And Swarov Damaraga Swami explained to him the, the meaning uh, from the, the because his mom was intimate associate, from his realization he explained to Srila Bhakti Nautakur the meaning of the first verse, Janma, Jasya, Yatanvaya, Tatarata, Sajati, Shabhiga, Sviyad. 
одним из ближайших спутников читания Махапрабху, Сарук Дахадра поделился своими реализациями с Бахтионом Такором, объясняя ему, комментируя на первый стих Шримад Бхагаватам. Объяснил сокровенные комментарии на, раз, на разные стихи из Бхагаватам. Он также And so Srila Bhaktivinoda manifests the Granta Bhagavat Akamarichimala, the garland of the rays of the sun of Srimad Bhagavatam. The garland of the rays of the sun of Srimad Bhagavatam. One time, Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur, he was uh, in Orissa. And there was a, a person there from the Atibari Sampradaya named Bishkishan. That's how people in Orissa pronounce Visvaksay. So he was a yogi, he had mystic powers. And by his mystic powers he had cured many persons of incurable diseases and because of this he had thousands of followers. And he wrote a poem saying that on this particular day of this month I will manifest my four-arm form and I will destroy all the British who are, who are controlling India. He was inciting uh, insurgency against the, the government. So news came to the government and they sent Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur to investigate because he was a, a high court magistrate. So Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur investigated and he discovered that Biskishan was not only threatening to manifest his forearm form, But he had already performed Rasalila. <laughs> and some very um, dignified families, they came and complained to him that he had compromised the integrity of some of their women folk during his Rasalila. So Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur came to arrest him with the police. So when they came there, she, first Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur tried to speak to him nicely and tried to actually persuade him to give up his uh, bad ways. But he insisted that yes, I will make a revolution and kill all the So Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur told the police to arrest him. But when the police came to arrest him, then he went like this with his jatra and flames came out from his hair. And everyone was afraid. But Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur was not afraid. And he came with a, a knife and he started cutting off the jatra. <laughs> and they had a trial and, and the Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur sentenced him to just not so much a few years in jail. So then 
Без грешен тон си любак ти нор, тако, I'll kill you and all of your family. Без грешен сказал, ну хорошо, я убью и тебя, и всю твою семью. And by his, the Topasia, си любак ти нор, тако, his family members came down with very high fever, about to die. Стал оказывать мистическое влияние, а Бакфинот тако разоболелся, его семья заболела, все были очень сильны. Was during the court case. Это пока еще шло в судебный процесс, шел, и вот так Без грешен... But Sila Bhaktinotako insisted he must be brought to justice because he has done a great apparat and brought ill fame to Bon Si Krishna, great offense. But Bhaktinotako didn't stop, so this was a So this Krishna was jailed and he fasted completely and after 21 days he passed away. Once Sri Bhaktivinoda Thakur was a traveling by train and on the train he had a nap. So it was actually Swapna Samadhi. Dream trance. In his dream trance, the he saw the demigods were having a sabha, an assembly, a meeting. In this vision, in this trance, he saw how the gods were gathered at a meeting. In the court of Yamaraj. Yamaraj is a mahajan. So they were discussing Bhagavad Gita. Они обсуждали Бхагавад Гиту. And there are two verses there, chapter nine. Их заинтересовало два стиха из девятой главы. Апи чен сударатиро бадете мама на тебак садо рева саманта вья самек сад вья вай то и са. Чи прам бавати дарватма шашват шантим викачати комтия пратижана и нам пей бакча пранашати. So the first verse says. That uh, if someone is doing is Ananya Bhak, that is they're only serving me and not any demigods, then even if they commit the most abominable activities, then that person he should be considered a sadhu. <laughs> Ананья Бак, то есть исключительно предан мне, только служит мне и не делает ничего другого. Если такой человек совершит даже самый отвратительный поступок, проступок, грех, то все равно нужно считать его садом. Солдату значит, глагол со означает закончить. So V, Ава. Means V means intensely. V intensely. Ava means down. Ava means. That means that person has made up his mind that he will follow this path of bhakti to the finish. And never go on another path or worship another devotee. Он решил, что до конца будет идти до финишной, будет идти этим путем бхакти, не будет поклоняться никаким делам. So because he's rightly situated in his determination, he's a sadhu. He quickly becomes dharmatma, full of dharma and attains peace. So Yamaraj and the other devotees, they were discussing this. Brahma was there, Shiva was there. Brahma, Shiva были там. Narada was there. Narada Muni. And they were discussing, what is Krishna saying here? Они обсуждали, что Кришна имеет в виду, о чем он говорит тут. Because if someone is Ananya Bhak doing Ananya Bhakti, how can they not be Dharmaitma? Если кто-то совершает Ananya Bhakti, эксклюзивное предное служение, как он, например, с этим не будет Dharmaitma? If someone is doing Ananya Bhakti, they already have all dharma and they already have all peace. So how can someone who already has those things, how can Krishna say that he will attain those things? So they call Srila so they sent for him in his Swapna Samadhi. And he came there and heard their discussion. Then he said, these two verses are talking about two different people. The person who is doing Adhanya Bhakti, 
who may sometimes do something which is from the worldly point of view the abominable he is one person the person who quickly becomes dharmatva and attains peace is another person so in the first verse sadur eva samantavya the word sa in this verse refers to the person from the next verse sa sa sadur относится ко второму стиху слова саду из первого стиха относится к следующему стиху so the implication is sa that person who sees a devotee even if he does something wrong but says he's a sadhu that person immediately becomes dharmatma and attains everlasting peace because of his respect for Vaishnavas. Because he does not measure the transcendental Vaishnava by the yardstick of material morality. So when all the devils heard this, they were overjoyed and they were very grateful. So it's getting late now. I want to tell so many glories of Shri Bhakti Nath Thakur. Shri Bhakti Nath Thakur, in turn, he is serving Radha and Krishna. In the form of government. So in that, in from the perspective of his Siddha Rupa, he has written so many beautiful bhajans. Sarki Gana Mama Paramasurita Juga Premaya Guru Oh, the Asta Sakis, the lead Vishakhi Chitra Tamagata Dorinita in the Lake Rangadeva and Sudevi, they are my gurus in the matters of Yugal Seva. It means each of, them, each of them have some special skills. But those skills, they cannot be utilized in the service of Radha Krishna when Radha Krishna are alone in a very intimate setting. Because they are the, the peers of Radha and Krishna and they'll become shy. So they have to pass those skills on to the younger maid servants who can serve them. So he's saying, hmm? Saki Ganama, Paramasurut, you will see my guru. Но саки не могут служить непосредственно Радхи и Кришне в моменты их сокровенных встреч, и поэтому им необходимо передать вот эти навыки, их умения, таланты юным служанкам, манджери. Вот кого мы манджи говорит, что они наши наставницы, они обучают нас своим разным талантам. Oh, when will Vishaka Saki take me aside and give me singing lessons? And teach me to sing in a voice which is sweeter than the cooing of a bird. And teach me to sing in a voice which is sweeter than the cooing of a bird. And sing songs about the leela of Radha and Krishna, which in the future I will get a chance to sing. For them, and Radha Krishna's brain will be overflowing, hearing their own love for each other. А будет меня песня о сокровенных лилах Радхи и Кришны, которую я позже могу спеть божественной чите и наполнить их сердца любовью друг к другу. So Sila Bhakti Nath Thakur, he explained that if you want, if you worship the Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in the path of Vaidhi Mark, you worship Gora Vishnu Priya. So the general persons they can approach in this path. Because Vidhi Mara Ratha Jani Swadhi Natra Ratna Dhani Raga Mara Koina Pravesh. In one song he wrote that you should follow Vaidhi Bhakti very very carefully 
but under the guidance of a Raghunuga Bhakta and gradually, gradually, when your intelligence, uh, your, uh, your service mood becomes free from the control of your intelligence and it becomes spontaneous, then you enter into Raghunuga дух служения все говорите вызволиться из контроля интеллекта то тогда вы спонтанно перейдете на путь Рагамарга сами тоже. Many persons they just read a book, the new book came out last year or this year, how to do Raganuga Bhakti. Берут книгу, например, вышла новая книга, как совершать Рагануга Бхакти. It is literally five points on the back. Там пять пунктов. It is one. Первый пункт. Accept Gopi Bhav. Прими Gopi Bhav. Shri Prabhupada, 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 Shri Prabhupada,
Krishna, Sajitanya Kimme Punara Pitiso Yashati Padam. The first verse of Sri Rupa Goswami is Chaitanya Astika. He said all the great demigods are worshipping eternally Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But I see him in the mudra of Bhajan Shiksha Guru. So in Raghavad, we worship Radha and Krishna, but we don't neglect Mahaprabhu. We worship Radha and Krishna following our Bhajan Shiksha Guru Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Gadada Pandit is there like two hands that means he's giving brain with both hands. But my Guru Dei who is extreme Radha Paksha is giving another meaning to this mudra. He said that Krishna is coming to this world to experience Radhika's power. Krishna is coming to this world to experience Radhika's power. And Gadara Pandit is helping him. And so when the Mai Pandit utters the verse of Srimad Bhagavatam, Bhavapidam Natavaravapu, and he says it with so much bhav, but he has not perfectly realized Radhika's bhav, then Gadara Pandit looks at him and says, So you can compare your experience when you take darshan of Gorgadada and my Guru Dev when he looks at Gorgadada, what but the wonderful thing is when we serve our Guru Dev, then all those bars descend to us. Oh, what our Guru Dev has spent lifetimes and lifetimes realizing by his sadhan, if Guru is pleased, he can just bless you in a moment to receive those bars. So I just want to complete for this evening the glorification of Srila Bhakti Nath Thakura. With one more miracle. In 1914, on the disappearance day of Srila Gadara Pandit, Srila Bhakti Nath Thakura felt so much separation on his disappearance day, he himself disappeared. He himself disappeared on the disappearance of his Ishtadeva Gadadar Is there any more doubt? Is there any doubt about the position of Srila Bhakti